Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. You know, lately I've had a ton of interest in single stage reloading presses and related equipment, so I thought I would get the Mech Marksman press back out and do some more content with it. And while I'm at it, I decided I would get some of the other supplies and equipment that Mech, the Mainville Engineering Company, offers for metallic cartridge reloading. So here's the plan. In this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and we're gonna set up and use their bench-mounted powder measure. And then in the next video, we'll take a look at some of these other supplies, brass cleaner, brass lube, powder trickler, and the press, and the powder measure, all together to do a precision end-to-end -end 224 Valkyrie loading scenario. I've got this custom Remington 700 and I'm gonna get real precise with my reloads so that I can shoot some more groups and evaluate this Hornady 88 grain ELDM load that's been performing well. I wanna see if I can get it to perform just a little bit better. So, let's get into it. I'm gonna open the box here, we'll see what's inside, and then I will mount it to the Ultimate Reloader Bench system, which I've got here. Okay, so, the reservoir. This is cool, this holds up to two pounds of powder. Right there, you got my attention. And the the powder measure itself goes up to 60 grains for a powder charge. Got the instructions here. Let's get the rest of this out. Okay, that's the box. So we gotta take this guy apart a little bit here. There we go. It comes with an integrated stand, which I think is super. Okay. And it's got the mounting hardware so that you can drill holes in your bench, go all the way through with quick wing nets, kind of like some of their shot shell reloading equipment. Okay. Screw on the reservoir. Awesome. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a look at this unit. I'm gonna take it apart and degrease the internals always a good idea when you've got a new powder measure in the mix. And then I'm gonna look at how I'm gonna mount it to the bench. And the ultimate reloader bench system here, I've got these T-tracks. I might see if I can just rig up a couple clamps just to hold it down. We will see, so I'll see you all in a second. So, mounting the powder measure to the bench was simple and straightforward. There's two holes in the included base. Again, love the fact that it comes with a base that were just under 3 eighths of an inch. So I punched them out on the milling machine, just did a little drilling to a 64th over 3 eighths of an inch, and then these bolts would freely pass through. I've got them inverted in the Ultimate Reloader Bench system in these T-Tracks, and then I did some washers and nuts. Boom, it's super solid, and I can move it kind of anywhere I need to. I then disassembled the powder measure. Uh, all you do is pull the pin, pull the metering insert, and then the drum slides out the side. I like to use a little paint thinner, a uh, wet side of the rag and a dry side. Do a little wet wipe and then dry off with the dry side. That makes sure that there's no grime or grease, you know, factory lube, the, the rust preventative type stuff that you'll sometimes get. And now we're mounted. So let's go ahead and fill this powder measure. We're gonna remove the plug and like any mech powder measure, we're gonna have a funnel on hand. I like to use an automotive funnel and do a little chop job to open it up to the right diameter and hold this with one hand. I've got Hodgson Varget here. That's my load I'm working with for 224 Valkyrie. This baby holds a ton of powder. I mean, a ton. Two pounds is insane. Okay. A little bit of static there. Okay. So, that's about all there is to it. Now we can take a look at metering the Varget and see what kind of consistency we're gonna get. Okay, so what we wanna be at is 23.6 grains. That's the load that we're working with. So let me first turn on the scale with the pan on the platen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and be down at about 23 and trickle up. Maybe 23 to 23.3, somewhere in there. Okay, so we're at 23.1. That's pretty close. Let's check that one more time. Okay, 23.1 again, that looks nice and consistent. Now, what we can do is with this lock nut, we can loosen it and then loosen the metering insert screw to get 
a heavier charge, screw it in or tighten it to get a lighter charge and then just finger tighten that lock nut again. Now, all we have to do is slowly trickle up to that 23.6. And when you get to that last 0.2 grains, you wanna go nice and slow. And again, we'll do this in the next video with the 224 Valkyrie. Loading a little bit more. And we'll get into a rhythm when we're, when we're doing this. 23.6, there we go. So now we use our powder funnel, we dump with the pan into the case, and there we go. So there we go, a quick look at the MEC benchtop powder measure. And like I said, I'm gonna be using this in the next follow-up video where we're gonna be looking at precision loading end to end for 224 Valkyrie. That's gonna be a lot of fun. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any of the action here in Gavin Tube and Ultimate Reloader, like 224 Valkyrie reloading content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.